This is a Pistorchis viverini, the liver fluke. Her name is Vivian. As soon as she hatches from an egg in the duodenum, she carries many bacterial friends within her body. She migrates to the liver and settles in the bile duct. Vivian's little friends live happily in her intestine and skin tegument. They live and grow together. There are two types of important microbes living in Vivian's body. The first one is CAG-A negative Helicobacter pylori and the second is CAG-A positive. It is the CAG-A positive strain that grows more abundant. Vivian's intestine is a one-way tract. She eats, and expels the waste by vomiting. In doing so, she lets her little friends out into the environment. This is Helen, a CAG-A positive strain of Helicobacter pylori. She loves her new home in the bile duct but prefers to live away from the mucus layer. However, she can't do it alone. Luckily, Vivian assists by secreting digestive enzymes. And now Helen can do her job. Helen wants to travel even deeper and further because she finds that area to be more suitable for her. She secretes protease to cleave the e-cadherent fence. And then she did it! She finally accesses her new house in the bile duct epithelium. She looks for a specific lock called a receptor and inserts a special key called type 4 secretion system into the door. Helen first releases CAG-A protein to make her new home more suitable. Because of the combined effect of CAG-A and some activation from Vivian, the bile duct epithelium sends a message called cytokines to invite friends to a house party. Yes, they are the white blood cells and their party causes inflammation. From the effects of Vivian and Helen together, their house gets bigger and bigger like a tower and they call this proliferation. They decorate the room with goblet cells and call it goblet cell metaplasia and continue to live in their house long enough till every room looks different from the original. This is called dysplasia. When the party is gone, the cleaners, called fibroblasts, fix the damaged area. The area filled with fibrous tissue is called periductal fibrosis. And that is the story of friendship between Vivian and Helen, the end.